Good afternoon, this is Evening Prayer for February the 15th, 2011. It's Year 1, Epiphany 6, and Week 6 of the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 97, Mark chapter 11, verse 12 to 26, and Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 10 through 14. O God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. God's lightning lights up the world. The earth trembles at the sight. Alleluia. Psalm 97. Yahweh is king. Let earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Surrounded by cloud and darkness, justice and right, God's throne. A fire prepares the way, it burns up foes on every side. God's lightning lights up the world, and the earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before Yahweh of all the earth. The skies proclaim God's justice, all people see God's glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed those who boast of their worthless gods. All you spirits worship Yahweh. Zion hears and is glad, and the people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments. For you indeed are Yahweh, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. You love those who hate evil and guard the souls of the saints and set them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just, in Yahweh. Give glory to God's holy name. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. God's lightning lights up the world. The earth trembles at the sight. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 11, beginning at verse 12. The next day, when they were leaving Bethany, Jesus felt hungry, and observing a fig tree covered with foliage some distance off, he went over to see if the tree contained any fruit. But upon inspecting it, he found only leaves. It was not the season for figs. And Jesus addressed the fig tree and said, no one will ever eat fruit from you again. And the disciples witnessed this. Then they went on to Jerusalem. Jesus entered the temple and began driving out those engaged in selling and buying. He overturned the money changers' tables and the stalls of those selling doves. Moreover, he would not permit anyone to carry goods through the temple area. And then he began to teach them. Does not scripture say, My house will be called a house of prayer for all people? But you have turned it into a den of thieves. The chief priests and the religious scholars heard about this and began looking for a way to destroy him at the same time. They were fearful because the whole crowd was under the spell of his teaching. When the evening came, Jesus and the disciples went out of the city. Early the next morning, as they were walking along, they saw the fig tree withered to its roots. And Peter remembered and said, Rabbi, look, the fig tree you cursed has withered up. In reply, Jesus says, put your trust in God. The truth is, if any of you say to this mountain, get up and throw yourself into the sea, and you do, do not doubt it in your heart, but believe that what you say will happen, it will happen. That's why I tell you that whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have already received it, and it will be done for you. And when you stand praying, forgive anyone against whom you have a grievance, so that your loving God in heaven may in turn forgive you your faults. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God. Grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care. 
guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us by your Holy Spirit, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Hear the word of Yahweh, O nations. Alleluia. A canticle from Jeremiah. Hear the word of Yahweh, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Say, He who scattered Israel will gather him, and will keep him as a shepherd, a flock. For Yahweh has ransomed Jacob, and has redeemed him from hands too strong for him. They shall come and sing aloud on the height of Zion. They shall be radiant over the goodness of Yahweh, over the grain, the wine, and the oil and over the young of the flock and the herd. Their life shall become like a watered garden, and they shall never languish again. And then shall the young women rejoice in the dance, and the young men and the old shall be merry. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them and give them gladness for sorrow. I will give the priests their fill of fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with my bounty, says Yahweh. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hear the word of Yahweh, O nations. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace, in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.